Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon Black and White Narrative to Wi-Fi Battle. My name is Jacob as always and today I have a very fun OU game versus R-O-F-L Waffle or Rolling on the Floor Laughing Waffle. Kind of a weird name and there's the siren, the fire truck. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, I'm not going to stop recording though. That's not the point. Point is, it's a very fun match. So I'm actually bringing new weather to OU so you guys can shoot me now or later. I don't really bring weather too often, although you'll be getting two other matches that I bring weather in. Sorry about that, but I kind of just wanted to bring it. I don't bring it too often, that's the point. And wow, is somebody dying out there or what? I don't even know. But I'm bringing Scarfed Azelf, uh, Rapid Spin, and Toxic Spike Senecruel, Wish, and Stealth Rock support Jirachi with Iron Head and Body Slam. And got the Bomb to set up the Hail. Life Orb with three attacks and Leech Seed. Frostlass got sub disable. Don't really see that set too often, but he actually predicts that quite nicely that in a match, as you'll see. Then I got Shadow Ball and Spikes, or Ice Beam and Spikes, one of the two. And then I got Standard Polytoads, Got like Protect, Toxic, Scold, and Parasong, I believe that's its moveset. But the thing is, I'm bringing Rain and Hail. He's got the Kingdra, and it's got Swiss Swim. I'm pretty much screwed. Why else wouldn't it have Swiss Swim? But kind of weird still it's probably got swift swim so i cannot let my rain be up while that king draws out it's got the skarmory probably gonna set up spikes got a whirlwind a roar brave bird things like that roosting stalling hate a thing dust clops gonna take any kind of hit and a spin blocker swamp with the stealth rocks and then he's got the him only and star up there's two physical threats and king just probably special i'm guessing that's the only thing I really can think of, but let's get the battle started now, shall we? I'm going to be leading with my Scarfed Azelf, as he leads with his Star Raptor, and I didn't really want him to lead with Star Raptor, because now he's going to get switch advantage, because I know I'm Scarfed, and I can't stay in and take a U-turn, so I have to, and I know I can't kill it off one hit, so I have to go for the U-turn this match, or this turn. Going to go into my Frostlass, predicting the U-turn. I could have also wanted the Tentacruel. Going into Tentacruel probably would have been a better option for me, seeing how he goes into his Skarmory. I'm going to go for the Substitute, I I think he actually predicted it being a sub disable set because as you're going to see not this turn but the next turn he actually predicts me quite nicely either that or he just wanted to break the sub one of the two maybe he'll let me know in the comments down below I know he's got a YouTube channel his channel will be down below if you guys don't know who he is he's actually a pretty good battler from this match goes for Brave Bird which is a great play in his part either that he was predicting me to go for disable or he was just wanting to break the sub Either way, I know I can't take a Brave Bird because I don't want him to go for that next turn. So I'm just going to go switching out into my Tentacruel knowing I can take any kind of... Or Jirachi, I should say. But he predicts that nicely and goes for that Roar. Doesn't really matter. He's got Roar when They do the same thing. Going to go get swept into my... Or roared, scared into my Tentacruel, we'll say. I'm just going to set up the uh, Toxic Bikes. Or do I just go for Scald right here? Yeah, I just go straight up for the Scald, trying to get the burn on something. Because he doesn't have a Fire type on his team, and I know something can get burned on his team. He's going to roar me out into my Obama Snow. What I'm going to do is just go for Blizzard, because he doesn't have anything on his team that really wants to take a Blizzard. Nothing on his team can actually take a Blizzard. Everything is neutral, or everything either... Yeah, it's either neutral, or it doesn't take it. Or it's super effective, I should say. There we go. And I do get the unfortunate Freeze Hacks on him, which doesn't really matter too much, because if he went for the Brave Bird, he would have just killed himself off, or if he would have just stayed and went for the Roar, he would have killed himself off from the Hail. So either way, not really afraid. Gonna go into my Frostless predicting either the Fake Out, or predicting the High Jump Kick, but he goes for the Stone Age and misses. He predicted me quite nicely. I probably should have won the physical defensive Jirachi right there. Because I probably can take hits much better with that than anything else. I don't know why I didn't. And I'm seeing, I think he's like, um, actually like, banded or scarfed at this point. Because he just keeps going for the stone edges. Not scarfed, definitely. He might be banded. Because he wouldn't outspeed, he'd outspeed me if he was scarfed. But still, go for the disable. He predicts that. Go for the earthquake. And I die. Critical hit, I Nah, I don't think it mattered too much because Frostlass don't even... They have terrible physical defense. They have terrible special defense in all reality. Anyways, going to go into my uh, Azelf knowing he can't go for the fake out anymore. And I... That was a stupid play because he could have easily had Sucker Punch. Could have knocked me out. I don't think it would have actually knocked me out one hit actually to be honest. But still, that's not the point. I'm going to go switch into my Obama Snow. And actually, I'm not going to go for the Giga Drain. Just because, oh, he actually goes for the skull trying to get to burn on Azov. I thought he'd just go for the rocks because that seems like the easiest time, the most advantageous time he could have won for the rocks. But just going to go for the lead cheat, predicting the switch, not wanting to over predict. I usually could have gone for the blizzard and knocked something out because that, face it, that 
Swampert couldn't have done anything or was just both stab moves. So probably should have went for the Blizzard, but still, that was my own fault. He's just going to go for the U-turn on his Star Raptor. And now let's see how much damage it does, and that's going to tell me if Scarfed or Banded. And since it's physically defensive Jirachi and that's not stab, that actually looks like banded damage and not... Actually, yeah, it looks like banded damage, not scarf damage. So, just gonna go for that stealth rock, seeing how this is the best time. And I probably shouldn't have let Jirachi die from the earthquake, even though I don't think it's gonna die from the earthquake. But it does die from the earthquake, so that's kind of unfortunate, even though I'm physically defensive. So that Swampert's kind of being problematic to my entire team right now. So I'm just gonna go for my... Obama Snow, and I'm going to predict him to over-predict here, and I'm going to go for the Giga Drain and post a Leech Seed, because I, I went for Leech Seed last time in this situation, so I'll go for Giga Drain, knock him out, critical hit definitely didn't matter, I'm Life Orbed, he's a Swamper, I don't care if he's Special Defensive or not, that didn't matter, He quad. he's quad weak to that, so that, def that definitely didn't matter. Now he's going to go into him only. This is where Jirachi would have came in handy. But now I have to go into Tentacruel. And he's just going to go straight for the Stone Edge. I know he's got Earthquake. But I, I don't think I can outspeed. I don't know why I went into Tentacruel. That was kind of foolish of me to go into Tentacruel. I should have probably went into Politoed in our alley. So now i got to switch out. Predicting the Earthquake to get into a clean thing with my Azel. So there we go. I predicted an earthquake, go into my levitator, Azelf, I knew he wasn't going to go over predict in that situation. Now I'm just going to go for that U-turn, I think, or do I just play it safe? Yeah, I just play it safe, go for the Zen Headbutt, knowing it's not going to do a whole lot to those cops because they get the EVOA and they can take hits for days, basically. Now i got to switch out, go into my Kermit the Frog, my Politoed, set that rain up. And now I gotta take spikes damage, but I do carry a leftover, so it's not that big of a deal. And I do avoid the will o -Wisp, which isn't that big of a deal, because I think it carries Toxic as well in this. Maybe it doesn't. But I'm just gonna go for the Toxic. I don't know why he went into Kingdra. I was thinking originally it was gonna be Resto Tresto was the reason why he went into Kingdra. But then again, it's probably a special attacker, because he's got so many physical attackers on his team. Probably gotta be a special attacker. And he actually shows me he's got the Hidden Power Electric, which... I knew it wasn't going to do that much because I'm specially defensive and obviously it's not going to do that much. Just going to go for the Ice Beam. Oh, I carry Ice Beam and I'm not Parish Song. My bad, guys. I don't carry Parish Song in this Polytoad. That's a different one I have, actually. He's going to go for the Draco. I know it's not going to kill since I'm specially defensive. Doesn't matter unless he was running specs, but he gets the critical hit, which is unfortunate. I knew I could live that from that range, but... The poison's gonna kill him off very much, and I know I got the Tentacruel. I know I can take any kind of hit that thing wants to go for now. Even hit by Electric, because he got the special attack drop by two. So there we go. I'm just gonna go for the Toxic Spikes in all reality. Well, actually, that was probably the best move, considering he's got that Dust Clops left. I'm gonna want consistent damage on it, so that's probably why I went for Toxic Spikes. And the poison actually kills off his Kingdra here, which is really nice. He's gonna go into Hitmonlee. What I should have done here, I think I just stayed in and go for Skull, or did I go for another layer of Toxic Spikes? No, I switch out, go into my Bomb, so perhaps his Death Fodder, because I really don't have anything to take on this Hitmonlee at this point. And I'm just trying to stall it out with the poison damage. And he shows me normal gem fake out, which is really unfortunate for me. You know, it's kind of unfortunate. I don't know why he didn't go for a stab biting move at this point. I know I got the two resistant tentacruel, but after the spikes damage, he could have killed me off. Or he does go for high jump kick. My bad, guys. I forget a little bit about what goes on in this match. Just going to sacrifice it. I need the hail and the poison to kill him off eventually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I need Azelf. I need Azelf in this match. There's no doubt about that. I need to switch into my bomb so a sacrifice, basically. And hope that the poison and hail is going to kill him off this turn. But it doesn't. So that Stone Edge Miz really comes back to bite him in the butt. Because he would have been able to knock my entire team out since he's got the burden boost right now. But I'm lucky that it missed, and Hale takes him out. There we go. And I know it's pretty much my game at this point. As long as Zen Headbutt's going to kill, which it's going to kill from that range, definitely. And that only leads to, I think he's got three guys left. He's got the Star Raptor, he's got the Dust Clops, and then he's got one more left, I think. No, he doesn't. He just had Star Raptor and Dust Clops. I lied. So I know it's poison at this point. He really can't do a whole lot. Even if I get the flinch, it doesn't matter. Uh, Zen Headbutt's going to kill him off. Not this turn, but I know even if he went for the will o -Wist, it was my game at this point. He goes for the Nightshade just to try to do some damage. As you can see, I could have lived one more if Zen Headbutt would have missed. But still, Poison's going to kill him off at this point. Very, very good game, sir. Have a great day, you guys. I love you all. And the reason this wasn't PIP, it was just normal narration because I have a lot of homework to do. And this takes less time than PIPs do. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I love you all. Bye.